All right, welcome back to Fast Gadgets. Uh, looks like I've got a bit of a situation here with my Fedora 24 system. I'm gonna boot it up and show you what it's doing. Uh, the screen may not be very bright, in which case I'll take care of that. So I'm gonna press enter to boot up and I'm probably gonna have to zoom way in on this because it's the text is so tiny. So as you can see, um, I'm asked to actually enter my uh, password for maintenance and I do not boot into the graphical interface so I'm going to go ahead and enter my password and here's the weird thing um, basically uh, did I not do my password correctly okay we'll try that again because you know how computers are you always got to enter your password multiple times right uh, at any rate what I'm seeing here is the result of doing updates so I was watching videos on my computer um, on YouTube and um, I decided to go ahead and do updates and there was about 500 megabytes of updates now normally when I do updates they work perfectly in the background and there's no problem whatsoever but this time it started acting peculiar and kind of freezing then finally it froze and stayed frozen and I had a bit of a problem with that so I ended up having to power off the unit by holding in the power switch and when I powered it back on this is what happened now I'd have to say this is probably only the second time in the last 15 years of using Linux where I've actually seen anything like this uh, so uh, the first thing I usually try is about a day or two after the updates I go ahead and run updates again now I actually have to use my phone to be able to see the screen because the text is so small so forgive me if I'm typing really slow the first thing I'm gonna do is just ping Google and make sure I'm actually online and I'm not so um, in maintenance I can't actually uh, do the update now I can try to do an init 3 and see if I can get to interface mode graphic well I don't care about graphical mode um, it looks like when I did a knit 3 it's asking me to go into maintenance mode again so I'm gonna try that and see if it'll give me networking now uh, so we'll try again to ping google.com no it doesn't um, what about an NS lookup google.com and I apologize for the shaky camera so NS lookups trying to run but it can't let's just go ahead and do a quick ping of Google's one of their DNS servers by IP address yeah so the network isn't even up so I'm gonna have to uh, bring up the network and it three didn't work and since I'm in maintenance mode I may not be able to get the network functioning at all the first thing that I like to try when I see this type of problem is to go ahead and um, do another round of updates because usually that will fix the problem I'm fairly certain that I had an update cause the issue and since I have nothing on this system um, it's just a Fedora installation I could if I needed to go ahead and clear it and erase it and just reinstall Fedora but I kinda wanna figure out what the problem is um, so I'm gonna pause for a minute and pull out another computer and see if I can figure out if I can get this to uh, go to what used to be called run level 3 but they don't call that anymore not with system D okay so I mentioned before we actually have <clears throat> system D running instead of system 5 so um, although usually when you run in it 3 basically what happens is it goes ahead and runs the appropriate system CTL command to get you to uh, run level 3 so I'm assuming my graphical target isn't going to work so I'm gonna do system CTL isolate multi dash user dot target and hoping and praying this will work no, basically went right back to the same login. Um, so I'll try to put in the password anyway. Uh, just have to remember my password. I have so many. 
and I'm pretty sure if I try to do a ping on google.com of course it won't work no it won't so I can't even get the system to go into um, graphical or excuse me multi-user target which I kind of need uh, I think what I'm going to try and find out is if I can run the network layer while I'm in maintenance mode hopefully I can if I can do that I'll try to do an update all right, well, I did try one command which didn't work, so I'm going to try another one. Uh, start network. And once again, it doesn't look too good. So I'm going to type in the root password again. And see if I got lucky. No. What about IF config? I only list the loopback. That's really strange. We'll try IW config and no wireless network reported, it looks like. Oh no, it has WLP1S0. That is my network. I wonder if I do an IF up W. LP one S zero if I'll get lucky. Network is down, so no, we can't do that. Ah, the mystery deepens. Well, while I'm here, I'm gonna run journal CTL XE, which it recommends, and if I'm not mistaken, there was problem Let's see if I can find it again for you I may have to reboot because I've done so much tried to do so much stuff since yeah it says link is not ready there yeah I think I did too much stuff so I'm gonna reboot and we'll put in the password again then I'll run journal CTL XE right away uh, because there was a mention about a module not loading, and I'm not sure which module it was. Now, for the curious, I've already tried to load with a newer kernel, and it made no difference. So it's not the kernel. Um, let's see. Okay, so... Now, again, forgive me, I'm reading through the phone because I can't really see very well. Uh, the text is really tiny on this particular system, of course which I don't mind, but uh, when you're trying to read it in text mode, you know, unless my eye is an inch away from the screen, I can't actually read it. Well, I removed my thumb drive, and I thought that might help. And when I did a reboot, this is the message I was referring to previously, failed to start load kernel modules, and then, of course, I get the prompt. And if I put in my password... Now, I'm going to do, it recommends XB instead of XE, so we'll do journal CTL dash XB. Lots of shutting down. The screen did blink three or four times when it uh, tried to boot into the graphical user interface. The thing is, I mean, if I could just get the network to start up, I could go ahead and do an update, and I think I would be all right. Aha, uh -huh. a dump stack, so there was an error. But I don't know if this is what it is. Bluetooth, huh? I don't know that this would cause the system to not boot up. Hardware error, machine check events. Hmm. And that is the end of the log. Alright, well I'm rebooting. I don't have much hope for this, but... And you can see I'm still booting into <clears throat> the older kernel. Yeah, see it's blinking? And it brings up the Fedora kernel. Starting show Plymouth boot screen, and it tries to. One of the things I could do is try to do a so-called upgrade to Fedora 24 and then 
run my updates thereafter. That way I leave my documents and all my files and everything. Um, and I could plug in a USB and just transfer my home folder. I honestly don't care about the install. It's not a big deal. I could blow it away. The problem is um, I have to rebuild all my apps and everything I use again and set up everything, which is a pain. But usually I can get a Fedora installation running uh, close to what I want within an hour, which isn't too bad. Bummer. One of the tips suggested looking in FSTab to see if a um, USB drive was causing the problem, which I took the USB drive out to test that, and I don't see a mount point for it in FSTab, which I really didn't have one anyway. Um, I do want to see if home is okay. So it looks like home isn't mounted. That's kind of scary. Oh dear. That right there could be a really big problem. Um, well, actually, let me just do this. Make sure I'm in root and then do an ls. And yeah, I do have a home directory, so I'll try again. Oh, well, that's not good. That right there is a problem. Um, Makes me wonder if I'm having SSD issues, but if I was, you think it would just plain fail. Hmm, I'm gonna find some bootable media and see if I can at least recover my home directory. Um, it really doesn't have stuff in it I'm too awful worried about. Uh, there was one video of a uh, Steam capture, but whatever. I think I would be okay if I have to clear it. Getting closer to that point. Alright, I think I'm going to stop this video here and upload it to see if I can get some assistance from uh, the community. And now that I know that home directory, home partition isn't mounting, um, sounds kind of ominous because it is all under a logical volume, so I would expect it to be able to mount. but. Uh, I think I'll upload this video, see if I can get any assistance from anybody out there, if they have any suggestions. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to do a little bit more research and see if I can get home mounted, or if not that, I'll boot from some media um, via USB and see if I can um, do an FSCK on the file systems. Uh, at this point, I don't really believe there's a hardware failure, but, I mean, it's entirely possible. So, uh... We'll see you on the next video. Consider this part one. And if you have any suggestions, let me know.